St. Paul's finance and insurance sector propelled the economy in the first quarter of this year. Official data released today also showed that one of the sector's key growth drivers is e-payment services. And economists say that the sector is likely to continue growing for the rest of the year. The finance and insurance sector expanded by 3.2% in the first quarter of 2019. That's even when some of its segments didn't do well. Traditional financing areas in foreign exchange trading and securities dealing activity faced deep declines compared to the previous quarter. But it was strong e-payments adoption and a good showing by market players in this field that gave a leg up to the sector. And analysts say this e-payment front is set to be one of the main growth drivers for the rest of the year. Under modern services, modern financial services includes, you know, things like uh, you know, uh, uh, e-commerce payment down to sort of, um, the, very, the various kinds of uh, cashless payment uh, as well. So these are the new set, new growth area as far as financial services are concerned. It's obviously uh, growing very fast as uh, more businesses embrace of, uh, uh, the digital economy, go cashless, etc. as well. If you were to go to a country that's overseas and you made a purchase for your hotel stay and this hotel, the main company sits in Singapore, the revenue, the economy benefit will be transferred back to Singapore. Other services supporting these e-payment players could also benefit. Behind that, obviously, the infrastructure of electronic is engineering, it is software. That, so you, you create a whole new environment of services provider that stay related to finance uh, as, a, as a result. For Red Dot Payment, it will be expanding to take advantage of the blooming market. And that will mean doing more than just the same. We have come to the state that uh, to continue to have a growth of 80% or 50% year on year is going to get harder and harder. Thus, we are now looking beyond to see how can we grow not just organically, which we have been doing for the past five years, but we are looking at how can we grow inorganically, and i.e. through acquisition. And when we acquire, we'll be looking at uh, two key areas. We'll be looking at geography that we don't have, areas, countries that we are not strong in, or products that we don't have. As a whole, the finance and insurance sector account for 13% of GDP, the fourth largest contributor in Singapore.